Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on Power Query and Power BI. In this video, I'm going to showcase a new custom connector and also how you can create a parameter table. Now, I created this new custom connector that actually connects to the Meetup API. That is the meetup.com website. I'm going to show you now this website that you can see here. And this is for the Meetup uh, from Vancouver Power BI user group. Now, all I need to actually do in order to get the information from this group is to actually get the group URL, which is the, just this part. And then from within Power BI Desktop, now that I have the custom connector, I can just go ahead and go to get data. I'm gonna find the meetup uh, custom connector, which is this one. Just gonna hit connect. And now it's going to request me for the URL part of your meetup group. So it's this one. All I need to do now is just click OK. It should actually prompt me for my credentials, but since I actually enter them already, it's just going to push me right to the navigator window, which is this one. And in here, I can see information about the events. I have the group information and I also have the members information. Now, what happens if I have, for example, multiple groups? What happens if I want to analyze, let's say I want to analyze not just this one, but I want to analyze any Power BI group. I'm now in another group, and this is the Queensland Power BI user group, as you can see here. I also have another tab for the New York, New Jersey Power BI user group, and I also have a London Power BI user group here. Now, I want to analyze or consolidate or combine or append all of this data into just one big table and also have another column that is going to distinguish or is going to have a unique identifier for the actual group. So I want to analyze all at once. I want to create a consolidated report for all of the meetups groups uh, that are associated to a Power BI user group. The first step is actually getting this uh, URLs and from each one of them, I'm going to simply grab the group URL. So this part, and I actually going to place them on an Excel table. So this is the Excel table right here. I'm going to transform it into a table and it has just one column and it's the group URL because that is the only parameter that my function needs. And as you can see is multiple parameters, uh, from just one table. So it's a multi-parameter table, as you can see here, I can actually add more columns if I needed those columns for my function. But since my function only needs one parameter, which is a group URL, I'm actually just fine with the way that it looks. Now, since I'm actually working with a custom connector, I need to grab this data and actually put it inside the Power BI desktop. So in order for that, I'm just gonna copy the data and I'm actually going to go to my Power BI desktop file. I'm going to click where it says enter data right here. And I'm just going to paste it. So just like this. And I'm going to name this group URLs, or you can name this parameters. It's up to you. And now that I actually have this, I now have the query editor with all of the values that I need for the parameters. And all I need to do now is simply add a column that is going to invoke that specific function. So that specific function that I'm using for my custom connector is called the meetup.contents. You can imagine that you can use this function, for example, uh, or this way to actually get the data from other functions, or you can implement this with other functions as well. So right now I'm just using the meetup.contents. You see that I'm actually getting the data and I can just expand this and do all of the transformations that I need in order to consolidate all of this data. And in the end, I will end up with a really nice report that is gonna be looking like this. And this has the groups information, it has the events, it has a calendar table and it has members. So you can see now that I'm actually seeing the Power BI user group uh, in Norway. I have the London Power BI group 
Queensland, Seattle, Melbourne have all of this information right here. And I can just analyze the data exactly how I wanted it. Now I can also, uh, for example, let's say and, and see only the last 19 weeks of data. And that way I can see how they're actually doing. Now, for example, what happens if I somehow want to see uh, the members of a specific nation? For example, I want to see everyone from Peru. So from Peru, I see that they actually have their own Power BI user group, as you can see here. But some members are also part of the Power BI user group in Norway, which is pretty interesting. What about Australia? Australia, we have Queensland, Melbourne, and Sydney. But again, some people are actually in the Norway user group. What about London? They also have some people in there. And this is how you can actually not only use this custom connector, but actually create a parameters table that you can actually run against a simple function or even multi-function. It's completely up to you.